As a runner, you are likely looking for accurate GPS so that you can get the correct pace and distance for every single one of your training runs. I know at least for me, this is super important, which is why I've been so loyal to the Garmin brand for so many years. And it's the number one reason why I love the Garmin Phoenix 6 Sapphire. But the thing to note is that a lot of Garmin watches can do the exact same thing. So is it worth it to pay the extra price for this particular watch? Let's find out in this video. I'm gonna tell you everything that I love about it. Hey guys, I'm Jane, and I've had the Garmin Phoenix 6 Sapphire, which all the internal features are the same as the Pro, so keep that in mind as you watch this video. But I've had this watch for a little over a year, and I've cl logged close to 2,500 miles on it. So I feel like that makes me a pretty good judge to be able to tell you how it has been for me as a running watch. I'm gonna get into all of the things that I love about it. I have seven plus a couple little bonus, but I'm also gonna tell you at the end some things that have been misses for me that could be deal breakers for you so that you know everything as you go into looking at this watch. All right, so number one, accuracy. I already said it, but if a running watch isn't accurate, then there's literally re no reason to have it in my opinion. I mean, that's what we want, right? We wanna know what pace we're running and we wanna know how far we've run and we want to have it be as accurate as possible. So the thing about Garmin watches is they operate on three different systems and you can run two systems at the same time. So GPS, that's the main one, right? And they also have something called GLONASS, which is better for the mountains. And lastly, they have something called Galileo, which is best for urban areas. So you can use GPS all by itself, or you can combine with GPS and GLONASS or GPS and Galileo to get an even more accurate measurement. Basically, it's just accessing more satellites. So there's much more chance of having more accuracy there. Something else that I love is you can use it on the treadmill as well. And even though it is not perfect on the treadmill, you can actually use it on the treadmill to get a pretty good idea of what you're actually running. And then you can save all that data into your watch as well. By far the most accurate that I found are the Garmin watches. I know that there's some up and comers for sure, but Garmin is top of the line way better than what you're gonna get in, the, in your Apple Watch, which is why this has been sitting in my drawer for the last year. And I don't really foresee myself wearing it for any other, any other reason. Number two is the music feature. So I know this is huge to a lot of people, but you can download Spotify songs on here. You can download up to 2000 songs. I think I have only a couple of playlists on here, which is fine for me. They're the ones that I like to run with the most, but if you are a music fiend, then up to 2000 songs is pretty darn good and something that you're not gonna find with those lower end price watches. It's very easy to pair with headphones, which I pair them with my Aeropex Aftershocks headphones, which I have another video up here I'll link about, but they are amazing for running, the most amazing headphones I've found for running by far. So listening to music is a big deal. Um, you cannot listen to it from the watch, just FYI, you do have to pair it with headphones, but it does mean that you don't have to take your phone with you on your run. Number three is the battery life. So battery life is another big thing that you're going to get paying for the extra cost in the watch. So if you're someone like me who is really bad about remembering to charge your watch, then this would be great for you. But also if you're an um, endurance runner, then you're going to want something that has great battery life. Or another example might be is if you're going on a hiking trip for a few days and you are not able to you know, charge it anywhere, then you wanna make sure that the battery is going to be good to go for the length of your trip. So that battery um, life is huge. So just to give you an idea, and it can be like up to two months if you just have it um, on the most basic settings, but in smartwatch mode is up to 14 days, with using GPS is up to 36 hours, and if you're using the music combined with the GPS, then that is up to 10 hours. Okay, number four is the safety features that it provides. So. I have started some training vlogs if you guys want to check those out but in the very first one that I did my family came and met me on the end of my 17 mile run which I didn't know they were going to meet me but it was really really cool um, but they knew exactly where I was because of the live track feature on the Garmin so this is something that I was able to use on my very old watch I think this is the 225 but it was an awesome watch for a lot of years it just doesn't do near 
what my Phoenix can do. But it did have live track. Garmin offers this, I believe, on all of their watches. Um, but basically, with live track, once you start your run, the person who you, the contact that you share it with, can see your entire run as you go. And so, my husband just likes to know where I'm at, especially on those long runs. And I'm just kind of running in random places, and it just gives him an idea of where I am. But it also is something my family does. My he'll get the kids in the car and they'll come meet me and cheer me on, which is super awesome. But obviously, it's built in, you know, for safety as well. The couple other things that it has is assistance. So it'll send an automated message with your name, the live track link, and your GPS location to any emergency contacts that you have. So you have to make sure that you do set that up. And then there's also something called incident detection. Um, I'm not exactly sure how this works, works, and thank goodness I have not had to use it, but with incident te detection, I know that it can know when things are off. Like for example, if you were going to go cycling and you crashed, it would know that your activity was not normal for cycling. So I would think that it would be the same for running. If something very sudden, um, a sudden fall, something like that, and immediately sends a message to your emergency, emergency contact, kind of like the assistance feature. And especially as a female runner, this is something that's really important to me that with a push of a button that I can contact my husband or wh whoever that I have in there, I think is really important and they know exactly where you're at in case anything, God forbid, were to happen. All right, guys, if you're enjoying this video, if you're getting useful information out of it about this watch that you're wanting to know more about, please press the like button. It helps my channel. And as I go along, if I miss anything that you want to know, please ask the question in the comments. I would be more than happy to answer it for you so that you don't have to go out and try and find it. Happy to answer anything that you might have. All right, let's get into number five. So smartphone notifications. So if someone were to call you or send you a text message or send an email, then all of those notifications will come through on your watch. And I think that that is really nice. Like I love being able to see the text messages on my watch. I most of the time have my phone just because I wear clothes purposely that make it easy to carry my phone, which I do have a video about that too, best ways to carry your phone. So even though I do have my phone with me generally, I don't wanna be taking it out and looking and scrolling and that type of thing. So the buttons are so easy to use and so I can look at te text messages. And if there is an important call, then I'll know it from looking at my watch. And if my phone is notifying me that there's a call, but it's not someone I wanna to talk to, I'm gonna know that immediately as well without having to take out my phone. So FYI, you can't take a phone call directly from your watch. You can answer it, but then you're gonna to need to get out your phone and talk on your phone. So that's just something to note. Hey, okay, number six, it is fully waterproof. And this is really, really important to me because I go swimming with my kids a lot in the summer, but a huge reason that it's been so helpful for me is because last summer um, with my running, I had an injury and I couldn't run for like five weeks, but I'm the type of person who like has to stay active or I will go crazy. So luckily I was able to lap swim in our neighborhood pool and I went a few times a week and her, of course, I'm like researching at the time, ah, can I swim with this watch? And yes, it's completely waterproof, they say, up to the equivalent of 100 meters underwater, and that it'll be functioning just fine. And it, because it tracks so many different activities, not just running, cycling, but like literally the list goes on and on of the different activities it can track, including swimming, I was able to track all of my laps and calories burned and things like that, and that was really helpful as well. So. Along those same lines are all of the training features. So that's number seven. And this is huge when it comes to this watch. Just the amount of things that it's able to do and able to tell you. Just a little bit of a list here. It has a pulse oxy oximeter. It gives you recommended recovery time. It creates workouts for you. Um, it tells your VO2 max training load. Like it'll say, like as you start a run, it'll say like negative four or plus four and it's, gauging from all of your training that you're doing and running like how the run is going um, it'll tell you if you should be in if you're in recovery phase if you're overreaching on your training if you're detraining if maybe you haven't done anything for a week um, if you're right at your baseline like where you should be so i think all of that information can be super helpful now of course you want to take it with a grain of salt but i love the data for sure um, and i love all of that 
you can use with this. All right, I know that I said I was only gonna do seven, but a couple quick ones more. If you are a trail runner, then you are going to absolutely love the navigation features. They have courses that you can put in and follow them. The maps are really, really awesome. And though I don't use them personally very often, I will say I did get lost one time doing a trail run and I was able to get into the maps on my watch and get back to my route and see it on the map and know exactly how to get back. And I thought that that was really amazing. So if you're someone who runs trails a lot, this watch will be perfect for you. Also has a compass, an altimeter, barometer, so those can tell you things like if storms are coming, um, obviously which direction you're going in, and it's also really accurate at telling elevation and how much elevation you had within your run that day. Last one, it looks good, guys. I think it is super stylish, which before I got this watch, I was like drooling over it. I'm like, oh, there's no way I'm gonna get that watch. It is too expensive. You know, this one does just fine, but now I can't imagine not running without this watch. Plus, I just wear it all the time because it looks really pretty too. And if you go look at the different options, I'll put the link in the bottom, but there are tons and tons of different options besides just this one, which this is like the gray with the rose gold. I love the white with the rose gold, um, but lucky for me, my husband got this as a present for me for my 40th birthday, so super thankful for him for picking that out for me. But men, there are really awesome men's options as well. This is the 6S, by the way, so it's a little bit smaller. If you want the larger one, then you would go with the 6, okay? And I told you I was gonna get into the couple of the cons, so just things that I feel like are misses or irritate me a little bit. And number one on that is the heart rate monitor. However, wrist watches and wrist um, heart rate monitors are just really not very great at telling heart rate. You wanna be using a chest strap anyway, but I have done some research on different watches. I have a blog post about different GPS watches on readysetmarathon.com. I know that there are a couple others out there that have a more accurate heart rate monitor or seem to, um, but for me, I can just tell it's wonky sometimes during my running and I just wish it was correct. Like I'm all about having things be accurate, so that irritates me a little bit, but I also know that, you know, it's tough on that part of your body, so that's just one thing to keep in mind. The other thing that I was really irritated by when I got it was because I was excited about this was the sleep tracking. And in fact, I'm sleeping really well right now, but at the time I was having a very hard time sleeping and I just thought maybe it would give me some good information or insight. But the problem with the sleep tracker is it's going by heart rate. And so if you are just laying in your bed, like you wake up and you're just laying there with your eyes open. We've all been there, right? It sucks. Um, but if you're just laying there with your eyes open for the next hour and hardly move, it is not gonna, even if you like reach over to your bedside, it still thinks you're sleeping. And so in the morning it's like, yes, you had a wonderful night of sleep when in actuality that's not true. So until you like actually get up and move around a little bit and get that heart rate up, then it's going to think that you're still sleeping. So it's not that amazing. But really guys, those are the only big things that I can think of on this watch of why caveats that maybe will be deal breakers for you. They're certainly not for me. And I know the watch is an investment, but I love it so much. I plan to have it for years and years and years. In fact, this is making me wanna go out for a run right now.